currently one of the mo most popular flies that uh, are being used for sea trout are a fly called a snake fly. This is a style of, fly of snake fly. It's got quite a, a thick body there. There's quite a large braid in there with a bit of squirrel and a bit of blue and you can make them up with all variety of different colours. Now it is made of braid and it makes it very flexible. And what I'm going to do is show you how to make this braided mount. A nice, easy, quick um, and what I think to be simple way of making one of these mounts. So I'll put this to one side and I'll show you what, uh, what I'm doing. There is an undressed snake fly mount. Okay, got the loop to tie the line onto and the business end which in this case is a size 10 treble. And to tie it I need obviously a size 10 treble, some butt leader material in this case scoob rod 25 pound, uh, a gate latch needle tool, some sun cure wader repair and a UV torch and these are to finish them out. You'll notice on my gate latch needle I've got a little lump here and this is for me to, to be able to tie the same size snake fly mount again and again. Okay, They normally end up within an eighth of an inch, uh, at most a quarter of an inch um, same size, you know, there's, there's not much variation. So first of all, get your gate latch needle, fold the latch back, put the braid alongside, in this case for me I've got the little hub there, I can hold it with my fingers. I'm going to hook the end of the gate latch needle through the braid, turn it 180 degrees, that's the tricky part, and then feed it up the inside of the braid. Now at this point I've got the hook up inside the braid and I've got the end of the little latch just just at the point where I first put the hook in. And what I'm going to do is just bend the braid back 90 degrees and slide it down the needle. And you can see now that's freed up that latch and I can now put in this material and pull it back through. What I use for that, I've got a cup hook that I've bent out of shape so it sticks out from the bench. And what I do is I just put my braid round that, I pull the needle back until I can put the hook round it, close the latch over it, put my fingers over it and just pull the needle back through the braid. And you can see now I've got a nice loop attached to the cup hook. So what I'm going to do is just trim off the excess and I've now made the front part of the mount which is the part as you can see here that you tie your line to. So now using the little bobble again on my gate latch needle, put the hook in. This bit can be tricky. Put the hook in. Push it up inside the braid. As I say it can be the tricky trickiest one to do because you haven't twisted it to 180 degrees. Push it up inside the braid again. Once again, just got to where the latch shows. Pull it back. Get my size 10 treble. Put it over the braid. Going back to my hook, I put one hook of the treble over my cup hook. Pull this back until, as you can see, the latch is hooked onto the braid. Putting my fingers over it again and just pulling it back. And now I've got the hook trapped on there with a bit of excess just to trim off. So I'll just trim that off. So there we go. There's the one I made earlier and hopefully you can see that they're not too far out in size. Now you can put super glues of varieties on, on these hooks. Um, the only problem I have with this is, is a lot of super glues aren't waterproof so if you use your flies a lot, um, if you fish hard with them then there's every chance that that will break down and eventually the braid will slip. You can if you want 
treat it with something like um, a nail varnish. I believe this is something like hard as nails in here. But the one I particularly like to use, and as I've tied these commercially, I like to use the Suncure material because it's the same stuff that repairs your wader. So you think how strong your wader repair has to be. Okay, and all I do is just put a, a little dab of this over the braid. Okay, and bearing in mind it's UV cured. So if this was ordinary um, ordinary way to repair, such as um, your Storm Shore or your Aqua Shore, you'd be waiting 24 hours. That's wet. Get my UV torch, give it 10, 15 seconds on each joint. You don't really have to use it that long, but you can. What you get then is a nice, very dry, it's dry already, very strong mount and it's got some of its flexibility in it which uh, super glue wouldn't give you. And that is your completed snake fly mount. Tie a line on here, your business end there, you've got the basis for you to now tie a whole variety of patterns. But that is how I make my snake fly mounts. They don't take very long and they're very strong.